guys, how are you doing? It's me, Kristen, here at Town Hall, and today is our first Friday program for September. So if you tuned in over the summer, um, I did something that I just kind of called virtual camp, and then each Friday we had a theme of different craft projects that we will work on. Um, now a lot of us are back in school. Well, not me, but you. Um, so congratulations, and I'm sorry, all at the same time. Um, what I called all of my Friday programs this month are create a craft. So basically, it's just gonna be a video that I do showing you how to put a craft together. Um, you can do it with me, you can do it on your own, you can um, not do it and make up whatever you want. Um, but for today's craft, what we're doing is mosaic owl eyes. Now, I am not going to lie. This was a very time consuming project for me to assemble for you. So I really, really hope that you do it the exact same way I am because, let me show you something. You're gonna have little tiny pieces of paper. And guess who cut out those little tiny pieces of paper? Yeah, that would be me with scissors. Look at that. Mm-hmm. So, Hopefully, you will really put this together just like I am. Now, next Friday, I'm having a video um, that I do um, a class usually when everybody's at school, and then we have some kids that are normally um, taught school at home, so they're called homeschooled um, kids. I don't know if that's the right word, so sorry if it's not, but anyway, um, I do a program that I call Homeschool Art. So basically, next Friday, what I will do is I will have a virtual homeschool art class. We're gonna talk about the artist, Eric Carle. Most of you have probably heard of him because if you like books, um, you've probably seen a book by him. You've probably read a book by him. Um, you maybe checked one out from the library or you might even own your very own. So like you've probably heard of Brown Bear, Brown Bear or The Very Hungry Caterpillar. We're gonna learn about him and then we're gonna make an art project similar to the way that he makes his artwork for his books. So. Going back in time now, we are going to go ahead and do a mosaic owl. So you all should have a piece of black paper, okay? You also will have, that's right, boys and girls, eyes. So you're gonna need to have some glue. If you want like your, your paper to be different shapes, um, you may want some scissors. But first things first, um, we're gonna go ahead and start by putting down the eyes. Now. It's gonna be kind of tricky. So I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do one eye at a time because I think I gave you guys all like a really big sheet of paper. Mine is not so big. So I just have to make sure I space this out accordingly. So if you wanna use a glue stick, if you want to use squeeze glue, if you want to glue each tiny individual square one at a time, totally do that. So moms, dads, grandmas, aunts, uncles, neighbors, cousins, babysitters, you can thank me later, because that's what the rule can be. You can say, mm -mm -mm. you have to glue one piece at a time. And look, listen how quiet it'll be. Mm-hmm. So if your kiddos glue one piece at a time, do you know how long that's gonna take? I'm pretty sure, I don't remember exactly. I think you each probably have like 36 green squares. Oh yeah, that's right. That's how serious I am about this craft stuff. I counted them. So assuming that nobody asked me a question and that I paid attention to what I was doing, you probably all have 36 green squares. That means 36 per kid. So if you're not doing this by yourself and you have someone else doing it with you and they have green squares, uh-huh, this could even be a math lesson for you. 36 plus 36, right? Okay, so I'm just gluing down, gluing down. Now, if you want me to kind of fast forward, bloop, um, where are my funky pieces? You're gonna have like a patterned eye. 
So that'll go, I am gonna run out of glue stick. You're gonna have um, little squares that'll be a pattern. Those, I think, I think if I did this in the right order, I think those are like 34 squares. So yeah, count them out, people. 34 squares. I might be wrong. Maybe it was, the blue was 34. Something though. And then something's 22 and then something's 20. It's a lot. It's a lot of work, people. I'm not kidding around. So I'm pretty sure I got a lot of paper on the floor when I was cutting these out. But this will be a pretty cool little project. Mosaic Owl Eyes. So you could do really a mosaic of anything. So it's just different colors, different pattern that you do. <clears throat> but it all ends up being, I feel like I need a drink of water. <clears throat> Excuse me. It all ends up being or becoming um, whatever it is you decided it to be. It could be a dog. It could be a car. It could be me. You could do a mosaic of me sunglasses, um, whatever. Your dog, your cat, your fish, your hamster, your lizard, your snake, bowl of spaghetti. That'd be kind of weird, but you could do it. So now look, I already messed up um, my bejeebies because I'm not leaving any room. Do you think I can get this up without tearing the paper? Darn it. Oh. I'm looking out. That's why glue sticks are good. Sometimes if you do it quick enough, you can, uh, maybe not. It's, it's good, it's all good. It's all good, everybody. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my next layer of blue real quick, and then I'll be smart and put my eyeball down. This is hard work. Not paying attention and not having enough glue in my glue stick. So yes, my paper is definitely a heck of a lot smaller than the one I gave you guys because definitely not gonna use all my blue squares that I cut out for myself. So if anyone needs any extra blue squares, um, come back to Town Hall and I can give you some. And so it's okay if you have things overlapping, it's okay if you can see the black paper underneath, it's just okay, no rules. I just kind of want it to all look similar. And like I said, I really would love for you to try to use all the squares if possible, just because I'm pretty sure I spent a really long time doing it, cutting them out one square at a time. All right, you're also gonna have an orange triangle. I'm running out of room, my paper's not. All right, so now I'm gonna do my second eye. And like I said, my paper is way, way, way smaller than yours is. So I think I'm gonna to have to overlap mine a little. Now I'm gonna to try to do it the same pattern on both sides because I just think that that will make it look nice. And if you wanna like glue the paper, the square piece of paper down first, you can do that. That will take longer, adults, right? But I am putting just glue down and I'm trying to hurry up and put my little squares in there before it dries up on me. So because I gave myself the smallest piece of black paper on the planet, Mine is gonna be not very symmetrical. You know what symmetrical means? It means it's gonna be like the same on both sides. So don't grade me on this. I'm doing the best I can. I gave you guys the good stuff, right? And I kept the stuff that's all whopper jawed. Did anybody use that word whopper jaw at their house? Kind of made it up. Yeah, I guess really I didn't need to overlap these. I don't really know what I was thinking, but now I've got to cover up my glue. All right, so next I'm going to do my patterned pieces. 
So I, because my paper is smaller than yours, what I did is I am letting some of the green pieces hang off the edge of the paper. I don't think that you guys are gonna need to do that because like I said, I gave you a larger piece of paper. And I don't even know if I gave myself enough of these, did I? I might have to cut more. Yes, have to cut more. Do you like it when I talk to myself? Hmm? I mean, it's like you guys are here, but you're not here. But I think I know who might be watching this video with me. I think maybe there's a faith. Oh, there's probably hmm, an Aiden, uh, a William, a uh, Robert. Let's see here, Emery, Cadence, Caden, Jake, Emma. I know there's someone else with the Wests, but I am not sure I know the other name. Brennan, maybe? I don't know if he's there with you or not. But hey, everyone. Hope you're having a good time. Hope you're being good for Miss Ashley. All right? Hope you're being good for mom, boys. Russ, are you being a good boy? Huh? Yeah, I had to get my scissors and cut some more little pieces here because I did not cut enough. Good thing I don't have a time limit, right? Hopefully though, you will have fun making these. Be a nice little break in action. And I don't know, I'm not sure. I think it depends on schools. Some schools are not able to do all of the regular classes that they would if you came to school. So, I mean, if you're not able to have your art teacher show you some stuff, hopefully these will just be some fun activities that you can do at home in the meantime. All right now I'm gonna do my blue. How am I doing, okay? Go ahead and say, yes, you're doing great. Your hair looks lovely. The last haircut I had was my daughter cut it. Mm-hmm. She did a pretty good job. It's pretty straight. Pretty straight. But we agreed on an inch, and then it turned out to be four inches. Oh, well. Oh, well. It all worked out fine, I guess, right? Okay, this turned out better than I thought because I really thought I wasn't going to be able to fit it on here very well. And so, like I said, it's okay if some of the black paper shows through. I think I need to glue that down better. And you're probably, if you're looking at your yellow eyeballs, you're probably thinking, um, it's very crooked on the inside, but you know what I did? I tore it. I didn't cut it with scissors to make it perfect. I wanted it to look that way. Now for you guys, when you put your beak down, it's gonna actually be on your black paper, but because my black paper is super small, mine's gonna be hanging off, which is fine. But yours should be able to fit on your paper pretty good. And I don't think my brown is gonna fit on my paper. So, huh, all these tiny squares I cut are not gonna show up, they're not fit. So I have some brown pieces. Now, like I said, if my memory is correct, you guys probably have about 20 brown pieces per person. And what you wanna do is place them coming out of the top of the eyes and just put some brown across the top. So you kind of go around the eyes a little, down into the side. I, I really don't really have any space for it. So what I'm gonna do is flip mine around, hope and pray that it doesn't blow or fall off. So it's very wet from glue. Mosaic owl eyes. Ooh, ooh. Mm -hmm. That's pretty fun, isn't it? All right, send some pictures. Can't wait to see what yours looks like. Please, please, please use all your square pieces. And if you don't use them on your owl, I don't even know what to tell you. Uh, Use them for something, okay? Keep them for another collage project, maybe. Okay, so this was our first Friday Create a Craft. We did mosaic owl eyes. I'm just trying to push down. It's gonna take a while for mine to dry. It's got lots of blue. Um, 
tune in next week for Art Ventures and we'll do um, Homeschool Art next Friday. So if you want to learn about Eric Carl, check it out. I think you'll like it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. I'll see you next time. Bye.